Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you, as promised, on how to use FaceRig Pro with OBS. So OBS is Open Broadcaster Software, if you don't already know, and it is a program which allows you to record videos and also stream them to online. Uh, so let's go ahead first by calibrating my expression a little bit. So there we go, it was kind of looking over to the left for some reason before. And uh, what we want to do here is we want to put this face rig tracker uh, straight into OBS. Now, uh, how we do that, to get started anyway, is to go over to OBS, pick a scene that we're going to be recording in, and right-click Add Game Capture. So I can call this uh, face rig, or let's say face rig 2 in this case. And uh, instead of capturing a full screen application, we want to capture a specific window. So we're going to be capturing facerig.exe. Now, uh, what should happen is that it should detect the window and you should be able to see it in the preview right here. I would also suggest turning off capture cursor because otherwise it'll show up um, basically anytime you mouse over this. So turn that off and hit OK. Now, in a way, you could say, well, it's already done, but uh, there's actually a couple more steps if you really wanted to get uh, working properly. So, a few things. One, uh, there's a good chance you're actually not going to want a background, but rather you would actually want to add a green screen to the back of it. So we can do that by changing the environment here. So if you click on environments, you can select uh, the green screen environment. But which will allow you to basically filter out all of this background and be left with only the character in your video. Uh, if you don't need to do that, then that's fine. Um, so with, let's see, face rig, I'm going to right click it and go to filters. So now we can filter out the green screen by clicking plus and color key, which uh, will automatically default to green. And I would suggest bumping similarity up to about 750, 775 to get rid of most of the green border. Uh, if you go too high, though, it will just kind of start removing everything. So probably right about there is right. Now, uh, that's mostly working, except the interface is still showing. And we have this logo down here in the bottom right. If we want to remove that, I would suggest switching to advanced UI, clicking on hide interface. And then that'll remove most stuff. And if you don't want the interface to accidentally show up, then you should minimize the program. Okay. Uh, looks like before you do that, make sure that the uh, interface has minimized. There we go. Now the last thing is this logo down here in the bottom right hand corner. And we can just cut that off by, uh, let's see, holding Alt down. And on the left side of this box, click on one of those circles and drag it over until we no longer see the face rig logo, uh, if you need to do that. So um, there, basically, we've just gone ahead and added our character with no background into whatever else we want to record here. And we can use this in our videos or our live streams. So uh, that's pretty much it, I think. So I've been Chris. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video has helped you get face rig setup in OBS and I will see you guys in my future video content.